The control board on this stove allows the user to adjust the heat output and convection blower speed, turn the unit on and off, and test components for function. To energize the unit and initiate a fire, press the on button. The LED display will show the set temperature shortly after pressing the button. To shut the unit down, press the off button. This initiates the shutdown sequence and the stove will remain in shutdown mode until it is cooled down. If you wish to set the stove in manual mode, with the stove plugged in, press and release the up and down button simultaneously. A M1 will appear in the display. You can now use the up and down arrows to change the desired heat range and blower setting. To set the stove back into automatic mode, press and release the up and down arrows simultaneously. The board will display the set temperature. Your stove will arrive from the factory pre-programmed in the automatic mode. The thermal couple wire is where the control board will read the room temperature. In this mode, you select the desired room temperature ranging from 60 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit and the stove will operate the auger feed and blower speed according to the temperature you have selected. When the desired temperature is reached, the stove will go into the shutdown mode. The stove will remain off after going through the shutdown cycle until room temperature drops below the desired setting. Once the temperature drops below the desired setting, the stove will go through startup and run again until temperature has been reached. We recommend running this mode in very well insulated areas in the home or in milder climate regions. It is not recommended to run this mode in less insulated areas of the home or in extremely cold climate regions. Running the stove in this mode in those environments can cause strain on the igniter which could lead to frequent replacement as the unit will run cycles more often than is optimal. Your stove can be changed to run in the manual mode if desired. In manual mode, the stove will run continuously based on the desired heat range and blower speed settings. The heat range settings will be 1 through 9. The up arrow will increase the heat range and the down arrow will decrease the heat range, with 1 being the lowest auger feed setting and 9 being the highest. The blower speed range will match the heat range that you select. Since the stove runs continuously in this mode, it is generally recommended for stoves installed in less insulated areas of the home in extremely cold climate regions. Error codes are alphanumeric codes that will appear in the heat range and blower speed window of the control board if the unit experiences an abnormal condition. Error codes are the control board's way of telling the user that something isn't operating correctly within the stove and that the unit should be carefully inspected before reigniting. When FS is displayed in the control board window, it indicates a failure to start. Although the stove may have ignited the pellets, the control board did not register a high enough temperature to determine the fire was lit. If a fire was ignited, wait for the unit to cool, clean the burn pot, and restart the unit. The OT error code indicates the preset maximum allowable exhaust temperature was exceeded, commonly referred to as over temp. The OT code means something in the stove is causing the exhaust gas to be hotter than expected. If the power to the unit is interrupted for approximately three minutes or less, the unit will resume operation when power is restored. If the power is interrupted for more than three minutes, the unit will be off when the power returns. Do not open the hopper lid or the door of the unit during a power outage. Open the closest window to reduce the chance of any combustion byproducts entering the home from the stove.